have always been told that you can't do certain things. You are limited to do. You can't walk faster. You can't run. You can't go play sport. It's dangerous. You'll fall. You'll fall. We have to raise them from bending down to standing straight. And then playing, that's a challenge. Black football in India started in about 2013, where we formalized the game with a proper um, ground setup, a proper inclination towards setting up a, 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 a different unit which will give the which way challenge that is a blind footballer is a chance to play at the international level as well as get recognized at first. To see what happened was I had a blind foot, I had a regular football once, and then a blind person asked me what is that, and then I found out that they, I stumbled upon this whole game of blind football. Uh, researched on it, found out that um, there was no professional body in India that was actually taking care of blind football. Um, put this as a challenge where we actually started training a group of blind footballers in Kerala. We started with Kerala, uh, took it out, ban India, and now we are a full fledged national national body and a national team. In 2015, I started with the team when I joined the NIV. Before that, I was in the sighted world because I was a defense. I was a service man in Indian Air Force. After that, when I came here, it was totally different for me. So, I learned with them and I played with them. Today, the Dehradun NIV, National Institute for Visually Handicapped, is the number one institute of Asia. But the game is very good and there are also debutants who have played this time. There are also four players who have played international games. I'm studying in the NIV in Dehradun in the 12th class. Today, my experience was very good. I am from the northeast India from Meghalaya and today I played for NIVH Dehradun. Now I am in uh, Dehradun NIVH for COPA Computer Operation Program Assistant uh, a course for one year. Actually I am practicing in uh, Kochi in the in the Indian Blind Football Federation Academy. So the academy's only aim is to get uh, a, a world-class blind football team going in India. Uh, we set the roots in Cochin, in Kerala. We want to have more replica academies set up across the country. A number of Vishnu Challenge people who have actually played any sport, like cricket, blind cricket, or chess, or now football. The, the, the approach to life itself changes. So they're more independent, they are, uh, their self-esteem is much more higher, they are more recognized by society, they have more self-respect. And most importantly, they can stand on their own feet. They're economically on their own. So as long as they have a job to subsist and uh, they take care of themselves, the sport completes this whole circle where sport becomes a full rehabilitation process.